all right so hey guys welcome back to the channel again and today we will be doing some analysis uh, basically we will be studying fatigue loading and uh, the material that we are going to use is, is ductile material so we'll be doing simulation of fatigue loading on ductile materials basically now the model is pretty simple since we have done it with the static loading and uh, it's a plate with a circular uh, central hole and uh, before moving on to the analysis let's talk about some simple theory so what is fatigue loading fatigue life is and curve these basics you should know so uh, fatigue is basically the progressive structural damage when the material is subjected to cyclic loading so if, if a material is subjected to loading continuously then there will be some fatigue developed inside the material and this basically occurs when the loading is repeated uh, when loading and unloading is repeated you load you keep on applying the load then you uh, then you undo that load then you apply and undo something like that and um, if the loads are above a certain threshold uh, the cracks will begin and the stress concentrators and eventually the crack will reach to a critical size and then the structure will fracture now what is fatigue life so ASTM which is basically the society for uh, American society for testing on materials defines fatigue life NF as they denote it number of stress cycle of a specified character that is specimen stands before failure so before failure of a material what are the number of stress cycles that the material can sustain that is called fatigue life the another theory that we have to uh, know over here in this analysis is SN curve so SN curve is basically the graphical representation of cyclic stress you can see against the logarithmic scale of cycles to failure so this is the number of cycles to failure on the x-axis if you say like that and on the y-axis we have fatigue strength or you can say stress and these two are in uh, terms of log so we will get uh, SN curve which looks something like that and this is pretty much the basics that you should know when you are talking about fatigue loading All right let's come to our simulation so Geometry is simple. We have uh, already done this before also, so no issues. The pressure that we are applying is same. Uh, tensile load of uh, minus 30 MPa. Okay, so let's quickly start uh, with the simulation. So I'll close it. Let's close the project. In fact, I'll delete it. And we'll start from the beginning or you can if you have saved the static loading ductile material you can open it over here and then do the modification but say let's say we don't want that we'll start from the beginning so let's call it fatigue loading ductile material okay and the first thing that we are going to do is we'll be doing the geometry obviously so I'll double click to open the design modeler Okay, once you are in design modeler, you go for units and set it to millimeter. After that, we'll select XY plane, right click, look at, switch to sketching, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle, and draw a circle as well. Then we switch to dimension, we'll give a general dimension to the rectangle and the circle diameter as well as center of the circle from this edge and center of circle from this edge i will input all the values so this is 200 mm this is 1000 this is 200 as well this one is 400 and if you are confused you can right click in the graphics area and zoom to fit okay so 
this one is 400 and uh, what is that okay this one this should be 500 so that will be in the center all right after that we can go for extrude we have already selected our sketch so i'll go for apply geometry and in the depth i will change it to 10 as usual and go for generate now we have our plate we can close our design modeler from here and double click on the model to open the mechanical window once we will be in the mechanical window we will again utilize the wizard tool that i told you in the earlier tutorial of static loading so yeah let's wait for a few more seconds once it opens all right so we are in the mechanical window now and what we can do the first thing over here is make sure your units are in metric mm kg newton that is important and from here we can invoke the wizard so mechanical application wizard now it says stress analysis i don't want that i will choose my wizard so i'll choose wizard and in the in the option to choose you have a number of different options but let's say we are going for fatigue so we'll go for fatigue analysis and once you do that your application wizard will say fatigue analysis and that's fine now from here we already know the drill of uh, wizard tool so everything which is crossed we need to specify so that a green tick is uh, given by answers so we need to insert fatigue analysis insert structural load support all these different stuff so let's go to static structural right click insert pressure so i know uh face pressure on this one and press the control and select this one also apply and this one should be minus 30 since it's a tensile load so after applying the pressure what do we need we need the uh, solution tools so we'll go to solution right click insert deformation total solution right click insert stress one misses solution insert uh, we can go for stress tool maximum equivalent we can go for solution again insert and this time we'll insert fatigue tool all right that's it perfect so after that we can go for fatigue tool and right click uh, basically right click on fatigue tool insert life and insert safety factor so these two things are required for calculating the fatigue so then we can come to our analysis settings and make sure the solver pivot checking is off we don't want that and then we can proceed to solve all right okay now if you see the fatigue tool uh, in the details of fatigue tool you can see the fatigue strength factor kf is one and uh, the loading type is fully reversed now there are different types of loading obviously you can see zero based ratio history data but let's say we are going for the default value of fully reversed and uh, if we see our fatigue life you can see we have a uh, fatigue life of 1.9 e power 5 cycles you can see 1.9 and the safety factor that we have is 0.74 also the total deformation that we have in this case is 0.5 and equivalent stress is 115.13 mpa right now notice that the applied pressure was minus 30 mpa and the uh, consequent load was 120 kilo newton so in the simulation uh, the load since the loading is fully reversed so it varies from plus 120 kilo newton to zero 
and then minus 120 to 0 that's that's what the meaning of fully reversed is okay so mine plus 120 to 0 then minus 120 to 0 fully reversed that's the scene now let's say if you want to change the type so let's say we go for uh, zero based we have the type as zero based so it starts from 120 then 0 then 0 to minus 120 like that so it's like a positive 0 then negative and it keeps on going like that so it, doing that what, what changes that we have in our simulation is our life becomes infinite all right and our safety factor has a consequent changes as well so it's now 1.25 but in the earlier case of fully reverse loading it was uh, somewhere around uh, 0 0.74 so there is a marginal increase in the number of in the safety factor as well okay so that's it that's how you can calculate the uh, fatigue life of your uh, model or you can do a fatigue life simulation using ANSYS I hope you guys uh, like this video and if you have any doubts regarding this one feel free to comment down below and subscribe if you're watching this thank you guys peace out